Right now, we got too much. I think I'm a little too tight. So she said, <clears throat> all right. All right, let's get the seat off and see if we can uh, figure out this snorkel. Shut this visor so you guys aren't getting destroyed by the wind. Look at him, he's heading for that small moon. I think I can get him before he gets there. He's almost in range. That's not a moon. It's a space station. It's too big to be a space station. Bad feeling about this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, happy Sunday. I think it's the 30th of Ju July right now, so it's about to be August. And uh, I'm finally going to tighten my chain. I should have done this. Uh, like a month ago maybe <laughs> but it's it's pretty loose yeah definitely not supposed to be that loose i'm gonna order uh some stuff to clean the chain like the little i don't know brushes and some grease i also just ordered some coolant because my coolant is like right at the line and that's with it tilted on its side here, you know, and with the kickstand. So it's definitely a little low. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm out of coolant, but it's definitely uh, something I can add a little bit to. And the coolant's expensive, man. There's like over 20 bucks for like the kind they recommend. So got that ordered. I'm going to watch a couple uh, videos on doing the chain adjustment. This is a Duke, but it's exactly the same uh, as far as components. And we'll go from there. I don't have uh like the paddock spools in a paddock stand which i'll probably get for next time especially for when i'm maybe i'm cleaning and greasing the chain found some like fairly inexpensive versions so i'm gonna do that but for now let's get this uh taken apart and uh wait never mind not taken apart nothing comes apart watch this video i'll link the video that i ended up uh researching with in uh the top and in the description, and then we will, uh, from what I understand, just uh, loosen the axle and then adjust it with these little bolts and then tighten it back up. Should be like a 20 minute job, which means it'll take me an hour and a half. So follow along. All right, according to this video by Justin Dow, he said I'll, I'll pin it up here in the corner. I need a 22 millimeter breaker bar I don't have a 22, I couldn't find one, so I have a 7 8 which apparently is the uh, the metric to standard uh, calculation. I also need a 17 open box wrench. I couldn't find one of those, so I have a 9 16 I do have a 10, so I have a 10. And a 17 I think I'll need for the other side of the axle. So I'm gonna go ahead and Follow his video here and use the breaker bar to remove, or loosen, not remove, loosen this bolt here. It actually fits, so <laughs> it must be somewhat the right size. So I'm gonna loosen up the axle, adjust with the adjustment screws, tighten it all back up after I measure it, and then we'll be done. All right, so we got our 22 millimeter on this side, AKA nine sixteenths. We'll put the 17 on the other side and we're gonna break it loose. Ugh. All right, it moved. Let me uh, see how loose we have to get this. All right, so we're just gonna adjust this a few times to get it where it's fairly loose so that it should be easy. Yeah, see, it's moving pretty easy there. So now it's time to get in here and we have to break this nut loose, this retaining nut, and then we start adjusting on this one, I believe, so. So we'll come back here in a minute and I'll start uh, adjusting each side, hopefully at the same time, 
and then measure and we'll be done. Tighten it back up. It's supposed to be that easy. We'll see, this could be a multi-part video if I screwed this up. <laughs> I'm going to loosen this retaining nut and I'm also gonna make sure that I have uh, additional wrench on the adjustment uh, screw nut because I don't want it to move yet. I just gotta loosen the top part here to the right. All right, came off pretty easy there. It's loose. Just do the other side real quick. This one was a little tougher over here. I don't think it really matters that much. All right, I'm on the ground once again. Always remember, do all your maintenance and flip flops. So it says right here, if you can uh, see that. It says 0.2 to 0.3 of an inch on the bar at this section. There should be a gap of 0.2 to 0.3. So if you look at this, there's like these X's on there. Okay, so you got three X's. You got one X there, two X here, three X there. So they want you in the center between X, X two and three. They want you right here, X two and three. And they want to make sure that this gap, when this chain goes up, has a gap of like essentially a quarter inch. So right in there. Right now, we got too much. So we need to make some adjustments and measure to make sure that it's essentially right about there. All right. So let me move the camera maybe this way. There, it's probably a better angle for you. All right, so we need to go counterclockwise on the adjustment nut, adjustment screw that's right here to pull this axle back all right let me do the other side Okay, check this tension here. Ooh, it might be too tight. So, from here, quarter inch. You're too tight, let me get a little tape measure. Boy. All right, <laughs> 91 in the garage today, another day over 100. I think we're at uh, an entire month or more over 100 degrees. Uh, so let's get some measurements here. Okay, quarter inch, Ooh. wonderful high quality measuring tape I have here. Quarter inch is so small. I think I'm a little too tight. So she said, <clears throat> all right, let me loosen her up a bit. Go. Yeah, it might be right there in a the sweet spot. Okay, we'll go from the three. Yeah. yeah, that's it right there. So 0 0.2, 0 0.3, that's quarter inch or slightly over quarter inch. So now, according to Justin on his video, once again, this video from this guy, Justin Dow, I need to just count the threads on this side, 
count how many I have. Make sure I'm even on the other side. Oh, is this grease right here? Nope, some, whatever, I don't know what that was. Disregard. I'm gonna count the, the amount of threads, count them on the other side, and uh, once we're good, we'll tighten it up. I see one, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, one, all right, I think we're pretty even. Now we just gotta hold it in place. And just hold it right there. And we'll tighten up these retaining uh, bolts. We'll go to the other side. pretty sure I have the chain tied where it needs to be. I'm just going to tighten the axle back up. Uh, I believe it's like 72 foot pounds. I have this cool device that's gonna hopefully tell me. I don't have one of the nice digital ones like in that guy's video, but it'll get close enough. It's okay. All right, that only took maybe a half hour. And that's with stopping and watching this, dude, this dude's video, so. Easy, easy procedure. Make sure everybody does it. I would check it probably once in a month now that I know how simple it is. Probably should have been checking it this whole time. All right, let's get the seat off and see if we can uh, figure out this snorkel. All right, I try to just wing it and do it all because it seems pretty simple. But now I'm watching ADV in Japan. He's uh, going through it. So I'm trying to figure out exactly how to do this without breaking a bunch of stuff. So first I'm trying to remove this tray. It's here. Don't mind this, it's my fuel X. I need to remove um, these uh, little rubber grommets that are uh, here to hold the seat on when it's all put together. So, gotta get this all taken apart. It's kind of a pain in the butt because they spin, so you gotta stick the Allen key in there just right. All right, there's one of them. I used a, I think a four, four Allen key, so four millimeter. I got all these wires here from this Fuel X that's driving me uh, a little nuts because I don't like how it's not super clean looking. Also, I'm getting destroyed. My hands are getting destroyed trying to use this. So I just grabbed another socket I had laying around to get a little extra leverage. Ah, there we go. Hey, that's all out of the way. I also took the bar off of here because so I need to get down in here to the air box. So that was, uh, I think, a six millimeter. And I also broke the tabs off the top of this. Uh, I think it's just the rear brake lights uh, trying to get all this apart. There we go. On this side, okay. All right, now this is out of there. Look at how much space you got now. None of this does anything. It's all just here. All these things are where they're supposed to be. All right, we got another bolt here, it looks like. And that might be the last one until we pop these little tabs. I don't know, I'm gonna watch some more of this video. See if anything crazy comes up, but that should be about it. I don't think this is a fuse, the thing that I broke. I think this is where maybe the uh, the KTM technicians uh, plug into it. 
to do services potentially? I don't know. Vision test. I don't know. Whatever. So I'm probably just going to tape that shut since I broke the tab that retains it. All right, I took a bolt out right in here. This started to come up and then literally it's like it pops right out. There we go. Sorry, I'm not like the best at making this video look clear. All right, there it is. I make a decision to see if uh, I need a pre-filter or if it'll be fine the way it is because there's no filter in there. That's just a hole all the way through, so. Yep. That should be about it for now. Uh, let me take this top of the air box off just to check it out. I should probably check my filter anyway. All right, got you propped up there. I hope you stay. Just gonna pop this off. It's also a four uh, Allen key. All right, there's the filter. So, there's the inlet to the engine. Okay, see it down in there? Yeah, okay, there you see it. There's the high speed cheap filter. Air goes in there. And that should be it. So I'm gonna watch a few more videos. Decide if I'm gonna put a cover on that or not. I think I'll be okay, honestly. I mean, I doubt. I do see that like, there's a gap in here. So I guess rain could come up here and get in there, in there, like through the side here. I don't really see that happening though, the way the seat sits on here so tight. I don't think I need to do that. But we'll put this back together, throw on some pants, throw on some shoes, my helmet. I tend to like to ride in long sleeves and a jacket if I can, but I'm just gonna take it for a test drive and see, make sure the chain's good. That's a big thing and we'll go from there. All right, I'm gonna reassemble it all. And I think I'm done. Okay, I've decided to not gonna do any kind of pre-filter. I watched a couple other videos. All this is gonna be pretty much contained under the seat and then it has to go up through the filter into the uh, engine. So I don't see where I'm going to get a ton of moisture or anything, dirt getting in there. So let's fire it up real quick and see if there's any difference in the sound of the inlet. Um, also, it could make my bike run more lean, but with the Fuel X, that should automatically adjust on the fly. We'll see how it goes. And also, you might not be able to hear anything just because this exhaust is so ridiculously loud. So no real change in the sound just because of this monster. <laughs> Woo, it's loud. See how it, it died right off the bat? Um, that's definitely just because it was cold. I don't think it's done that before and that was before I did this mod. So, yep. Add, whoo, sunglasses falling down. So we're gonna add this to the Trash can full of parts that I'm just kind of storing there for now. See if I ever add it, put it back on. Also, this treadmill is still apart. That's another project for another day. I doubt anyone who tuned into this to see um, me put on this or do this mod. No one cares about the treadmill. Enjoy your KTM footage. <laughs> All right, I'm going to uh, put the bike back together, move the car, change, and uh, Go for a little ride. All right. Let's get this helmet chin strap 
done. Let's get on the bike. Like I said, I normally wear long sleeves at least. Usually a jacket or if I'm going to work, I got my work stuff on. But this is more of a, a test to see if the uh, chain is good. The exhaust thing, the, the intake or whatever, I'm not too worried about that one. middle range grunt going on in the middle there. Alright, mechanically it seems to be working fine. There's some noise in there. It's definitely vibration. vibration uh, focused noise, not necessarily RPM or uh, you know, the, anything with the chain, so that's good. Whoa, windy. Man, get me away from the dust and dirt. Alright, alright, that's going to be it. We're just going to head on home. Building a new police station there. Hopefully it's done in the next uh, year or so, it'd be nice. Not that we have a crime problem down here, but just to have it done. some things down I'll let you know what it was uh, if I diagnose what it was but really I was making sure that the bike ran okay uh, that nothing seemed super misaligned Yeah. 
seems to be feeling just fine. today's video guys i'm just going to end it with me sitting here on the bike so hope everyone liked it hope uh you got some knowledge out of it i know i did and uh just remember i have no mechanical skills i'm just doing what sounds uh like fun so you guys have a great day and i'll see you in the next video bye all right guys mike is still on the helmet so i'm just kind of holding it but I think it is the toolkit uh, right here. Can you hear that? So I'm going to pull it out um, for work tomorrow. And uh, I'll ride to work without it. And then we'll see if that makes a difference with that weird metallic rattling noise. So that's the end. Hope you guys liked it. Please give it a thumbs up, share subscribe, uh, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Show me life, show me love. Make a change, time is up. We can wait for better days, but the days won't come. Show me life, show me love. Show me life, show me love. Make a change. Time is up We can wait for better days But the days won't come Show me life, show me love This is how we got Show me life, show me love